Okay, I'm back, and now this is going to be a video on how to load a custom recovery. Look at that. Uh, first of all, all things goes to, I don't know if you can read his name right there, Invisible K from XDA Developers for, uh, well, providing this method. Um, it's not his recoveries or any of that, but he's the one that I did follow on the instructions, so I'm going to give him credit for right now. Okay, um, first of all, what you got to do is let's just connect the battery on this thing this time I'm using my uh, laptop hopefully this is actually um, a little bit better that we can actually see the commands on the screen I don't know how well it's not that much greater but we'll see we'll, we'll look through it here's the uh, commands dot txt on a new file or a new folder I'm about to zip there's only uh, two files required. I'll provide a link for this uh, zip file that way you can pull these two files up. It's a uh, ink.zip and a file called keys. Um, since it's only two files, normally I would probably have you guys download directly, but the keys one's a little bit more tricky since um, if you download that incorrectly or if you don't load it, if you don't, well, it depends on your browser, but sometimes the, the browser will download it as keys.txt, and it's supposed to be just keys without any type of extension. So, what we got to do first is, uh, if you haven't seen my the root method, you have to do that first. Okay. What I just did right now is I just turned off the phone. By I taken uh, disconnecting the battery. What we're going to do is we're going to open up CMD. Keep in mind the... As my SDK folder is located in uh, the C drive. So, CD SDK and then CD tools. Alright, now I'm going to run that loop. Uh, I, I know methods that say you don't have to run the loop, but I'm just going to run it just because that's what I'm used to. Alright, on the phone, hold down the volume key and hit power. Load up. Okay. Also, I don't know if you saw that or not. See, look at that. I got that on the first try. This is actually something I've actually done. Here, let me disconnect the battery again real quick. Let me see if I can get it to, if I can reproduce that. What I do is I hold down the volume key and hit power, okay? And wait for the files to load, because it's going to error out right now when it can't find the specific file. You'll see right now. But see, I'm still holding down volume down and power. Now, I'm going to hit volume down again, hold down volume down, the key, and then hit power again. And I'm still holding down volume down and uh, power. So I hold down volume down and power to get to the little recovery screen. And then I hold down volume down, that way I can select the next, um, uh, what is it, hold it, because you have to hit uh, volume down to get to recovery, because it's the second option. And then while holding that button down, I push power, and now I'm on this screen, I let go, look at that, first try. Now hit volume up, power. There you go. See, look, it took one shot. Hopefully, I uncovered something there that a lot that'll help a lot of people out. It, it's just something that works for me. I don't know if that's gonna if that's universal or not, but it works for me. Okay, what we got to do now is uh oh, we got to push out the uh actually probably shouldn't have put that out just yet. Let's turn the screen while I look. Let's take a look at the phone while I get a couple of commands real quick. It's a work in progress. A work in progress. Okay, sorry about that. There's a couple commands I actually had to load back on the command.txt thing. Okay. First of all, you're going to push busybox. So we're going to do that right now. Copy the first command. 
and there is actually some like structure I have on here if there's no spaces between the commands like these first two right here that means we're gonna execute them at the exact same time I mean you don't have to copy both of them at the exact same time but I just mean it's gonna be done at the same time oh I'm sorry in order for this command to take if you don't if you don't run the update first and let it fail it has to fail first before you can actually push these things out so let it fail first or else you're gonna get this little permission denied when you try to push the file to the SD card so now that it did that there you go now we're gonna run the other one the pushing the ota.zip paste that in there okay push that out and now what we're gonna do is copy the third line but this one you're not gonna execute yet so alright now same method as before you're gonna select this one and then quickly you're gonna select the apply update and then quickly push the inner key so hopefully I get it in one shot and I did again there you go okay done okay now what you want to do is uh, there's two files new files that weren't provided previously and I'll provide a zip for that stuff too you're gonna push a file called uh, ink.zip and you're going to push it up into the SD card as update.zip. We're going to do that first. And then there's a file called uh, keys. Now keep in mind, if you download it from another place, remove any type of extension. It most likely has a TXT extension, so just remove that out. It's just keys. And then you're going to save it on the SD card as just keys. No extension. Done? Okay, this one's a little different. This, we're going to have to make system writable, so we're going to run this command sorry for the focusing on this thing and sorry for the shakiness but I am doing this all in one hand oh oh, oh sorry sorry uh, you have to go into ADB shell first ADB shell ADB shell SU and then pro then copy this uh, uh, command and then paste it in there. I was pasting it in um, uh, in the command prompt and you have to execute it within the phone. Okay, now we're down to our third command. And then what this is going to do, it's going to give you the process ID of a recovery because you're gonna have to kill it right now so look at there you go my process ID see where it says PID PID it's 54 so now see don't copy this the last last command and just paste it in there because it's gonna say um, system bin kill PID uh, PID means insert your your uh, PID of the recovery so mine's just gonna be 54 and as soon as I do that let's focus away and you're gonna see what's gonna happen to the phone right now Boom. It's going to take you out of uh, the recovery screen menu. So all you're going to do is you're going to hit up and power once more. And then you're just going to go to apply, update. Let it apply and boom. There you go. Now you can back up and everything. Uh, there's some limitations right now to the, to the data. But uh, besides that, I mean, it's work in progress, right? There you go. Uh, thank you for viewing my video, and thanks again to Invisible K from uh, XDA Developers for uh, giving that little tutorial. All right, thanks. Bye.